Hi Year 3, I just wanted to make a really quick video for you guys just to go through finding a fraction of an amount when the numerator is bigger than 1. So as you can see on the screen I've got 3 quarters of 16. So usually when we're finding a fractional amount we know that we need to take the whole amount and we're just going to divide it by our denominator. But when the numerator is bigger than 1 there's a two step process that we can follow. So if we start First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the whole number here. So the whole number here is for 16. Next, we're going to divide it by our denominator. So the same as what we would do usually when we're finding a unit fraction of amount. So here's our denominator, 4. 16 divided by 4, as I'm sure you guys know, is going to equal 4. So, step 2. Take the answer that you just got. So in this case, my answer is going to be 4. And then I'm going to multiply it by my numerator. So my numerator in this case is 3. 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. So 3 quarters of 16 equals 12. Let's have a go at another one together. I've got 3 quarters of 24. So again, I'm going to take my whole number, which we know is 24. I'm going to divide it by my denominator, which in this case is 4 again. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Just to double check year 3, let's just get my pen and make sure. When we're dividing, we have our whole amount and we divide it into our second number of the number of groups. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to share our 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So looking at my one group, I've got 6. So I know that 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So again, I'm going to take that answer, which in this case is my answer 6, and I'm going to multiply it by my numerator. Again, it is 3. So now I've got 6 multiplied by 3, which equals 18. If again, if I want to look at that over here, year three, I could have a look at, I've got how many groups of six I need. I need three groups of six. Here I've got four groups of six, so I could just look at these three, count them all together, and it would give me 18 again. So three quarters of 24 equals 18. Last one to go through year three and just a nice different one. Just to let you know, it doesn't matter what the fraction is or the total whole amount. We still apply the same technique. So in this case, we're going to start again from the beginning. Take my whole amount, which is 80, and divide it by my denominator, which is 8. 80 divided by 8 year three is 10. 10 times 8 equals 80. Take that answer of 10. Multiply it by my numerator, which is 6. 10 multiplied by 6 equals 60. So 6 eighths of 80 equals 60. Doesn't matter what the fraction or what the whole amount is year 3. That process should work for any type. Any problems year 3, please, please, please let me know and I'll try and help you as best I can. Good luck.